Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. If you enjoyed the content, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to help us grow to 215 by the end of March. We're here to break some huge NFL news, talk about some huge NFL news, I should say, as Aaron Rodgers decides to stay in Green Bay. So Rodgers is going to be running it back, going back to Green Bay as they try to build more around him and get him another Super Bowl before he goes out with a bang on his great NFL career. And then we have even bigger news, a blockbuster trade, which is Russell Wilson, the man himself, Russell Wilson, who is one of the best quarterbacks under pressure, obviously has not had the best offensive line throughout most of his career, and still gets it done, gets to go to a fairly solid one in Denver, a team that has very good offensive weapons, and obviously <clears throat> a really, and I put a stress on the word, really believes that Russell Wilson is their next GOAT since Peyton Manning because they agreed to trade Noah Font, who has the ability to become a top tight end, a very solid defensive lineman in Shelby Harris. Not one, but two firsts, not one, but two seconds, and a fifth round pick, all for Russell Wilson, and then they also got a fourth round pick back. So this was a huge trade. Obviously, it seems like Drew Locke went back for being a placeholder for Seattle, who's a team that's in a retooling phase at the very least right now. And if they don't have somebody that comes in immediately for Wilson, you're just throwing Drew Locke, and then maybe they're strike lightning in a bottle. Not likely, but we'll see. And then Noah Font, again, very talented, ridiculous tight end. And then Shelby Harris is a very good average to above, probably above average defensive lineman. So you're getting really good players to help build around one on the defensive side and one big kahuna on the offensive side if you're the Seattle Seahawks. And then obviously Locke has familiarity with him, but Drew Locke hasn't been too squeaky clean since he had the 7-2, and two, I think it was, TD interception ratio in his first season where I really liked what I saw since then, no. So hopefully he can get back to that, but we'll have to see. When it comes to Russell Wilson, though, <clears throat> I mean, to me, there's no question in my mind. The Broncos finished last season 1-4. and four. They were a team that actually had a chance if they finished even better. And now that you bring in someone like Drew Locke, also I think if Teddy was healthier last year, or, or you bring in somebody like Russell Wilson for Drew Locke, Font, Shelby Harris, two first, two seconds, and a fifth, that's going to really put you over the top, just like how years ago, that's why everyone's comparing it to Peyton Manning. It's not Russell Wilson and Peyton Manning or the same at all. They're completely different quarterbacks. It's It looked like the Broncos were that GOAT QB away, and it looks like they're very damn close to that. Not as stacked as that team, but they're damn close to that. And you also lost Shelby Alice and Noah Fonts. you got to make up for those. But they're close to that, <clears throat> and now added in a guy – when he doesn't even have the protection and the greatest offensive weapons is still able to find a way to get it done. And you give him the Melvin Gordons of the world. You give him um, receivers like even Hamler, who's continuing to develop. You have Jerry Judy, who's an absolute stud. Cortland Sutton, who's an absolute stud. So I think the Broncos now are a team that I've even debated it. I've been thinking about it um, when I even texted my friends about it. They're a team that I wouldn't be surprised if people start putting money on early because of the way the odds will still be, uh, potentially for right now. Because now adding Russell Wilson, just add a couple more things on your defense and add probably a tight, not probably, add a tight end since you got rid of your tight end. And you're able to really help and build around that. And you also, they also brought in a guy that had some success <clears throat> with the Eagles, I believe is on the practice squad and also part of their club is Fulgham, so if they can kind of strike lightning in a bottle with him, Russell Wilson is also a quarterback unlike Locke, um, who has in his career made a lot of guys better around him, so that can go a long way as well. But this has been a quick video, about five minutes long, on Russell Wilson um, getting traded to the Denver Broncos for Font, Harris, two firsts, two seconds, a fifth, and of course Drew Locke, plus... Aaron Rodgers decides to stay with the Green Bay Packers. This has been an NFL offseason update by Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please continue to subscribe up above or down below on the easy-to-use subscribe button to help us get to 215. 
by the end of the month. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the offseason.